Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about motivation. How do you do it? How do you stay motivated? All right, this is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. It's not always easy. I'm not going to lie to you. Staying motivated is not always easy, but these are a few things that I do and hopefully they'll help you. I try to write lists out. If I know what I'm doing, like certain, like the, I got to do one, two, three, A, B, and C, one, two, three, whatever it is, the bottom line is that helps me and it can help me stay focused so you're less likely to get unmotivated, okay? So, uh, sometimes I feel like people, they get stuck, they don't know what to do, they, it's hard to get motivated if there's, you know they're not they're not sure where they're going the other thing is don't do too much at one time perhaps that's the problem right you have too much on your plate narrow it down start saying no you have to say no to people that's another reason why you could um, get unmotivated because you have too many things going on at one time it's difficult who wants to work like that so start saying no do smaller tasks okay if you find like you just can't do the larger tasks, that's okay it's fine it'll get there just do smaller tasks get a couple of things done but at least make some progress every day that's so very important inspiration there are a lot of ways to get inspiration out there you can listen to podcasts and I mean that rather than watching TV maybe getting dressed in the morning riding to work whatever you're doing in your life um, listen to a podcast it's really good before going to bed at night or sometimes during the day or lunch break whatever it is you read a book for 15 minutes or half an hour whatever it is I know it's hard to get these things in in your life but believe me when you hear the things you get ideas that creativity is going I think a lot of um, you know losing motivation is when you have just too much and you just want to say no I, ca I can't do this so be careful don't fall into that also surround yourself with people that are motivated and going now there is a flip side to that I'll get to that but the bottom line is when you see people motive you know going they're motivated they're going and and you, you kind of just follow them along it's important so if you don't have anybody in your life I always suggest masterminds masterminds is a great way to to stay motivated and the reason for that is because you're checking with people they're looking to see your progress and you kind of feel like accountable that's really important in business so find that Believe me, you can just talk to somebody on the phone every couple of weeks, however it is. I do a mastermind. We meet usually every two weeks, and in the summertime, we're down to once a month. And honestly, we didn't even meet. We just did the phone last time, a three-way phone call. It was a great thing. The bottom line is you have to be accountable. That's going to help you with motivation, all right? Now, when you're in these groups, you'll maybe see other people go a lot further than you. Listen, that's okay for now. Just do a little every day. You will get there. Don't worry about anybody else. Kind of put those blinders on and you just have to do what you want to do with your business. You'll get there. Maybe not right away, but that's okay. You'll get there in your time. But as far as just keeping motivated, just keep doing it. That's the bottom line. You're, you know, keep doing what you th think is important and you'll stay motivated. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Sleep is so very, very important. If you're not sleeping enough, you're not going to get as much done you're likely to be unmotivated it's just you don't feel like doing it absolutely understandable and definitely diet and exercise that all comes into it you know I have a, a similar video with productivity tips it really is the same as you know you being productive is the same as you being motivated read books listen to you know that whole mindset is so very important because why do people get unmotivated they get unmotivated when they have too much on their plate and they get unmotivated when they're not seeing progress you may not see progress for a little while if this means a lot to you then you have to hang in there so how do you hang in there you surround yourself with people that can help you find a mentor find somebody to bounce some ideas off of and that's why that mastermind comes in because honestly it does help and they're around never say to me i can't find anybody you can find somebody there's people online and like i said just do a phone call all of these things are going to help you so these are just my tips today for staying motivated i hope that this is somewhat helpful for you It definitely has helped me um, I see, you know, I, I um, started a Facebook group a while back. We're just closing in on 5,000, so I'm happy about that. But it took work. It didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of me posting with really crickets. Nobody was answering. You just keep at it. And I see the same in my own business. There's definitely days that are bad days. There's just no doubt about it. And I wonder, do I still want to do this? But I'm motivated. I see people around me going forward. I know that I've had success. And I'll just keep on going, keep going. That's the bottom line. And so I hope that you get there too. You will. Perhaps this is a bad day for you or a bad week or, you know, a bad few weeks. You'll get over the hump. Life is just moments in time, really. And these moments will pass. So keep at it. You're doing great. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. Now, if you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I'll show you how different ways to increase your online presence. All right. I'll see you. Thanks. Bye-bye.